Welcome to Grammar with Lily. Can you hear my voice? La la la. Yes, that is my voice. Can you hear this sound? Yes, that is the sound of my hands. Do you know these two words? Sound is anything you can hear. Voice is the sound that comes from my throat or my neck. Put your hand on your neck and you can feel your voice. Try it. You do this. Say la la la. Yes, do you feel it? Your throat is vibrating like this. La. That is your voice. What makes the sounds of my words? Mostly the shape of my mouth, p, ch, f, f, and my voice, a, e, o, a. Every letter makes a different sound. Some letters are similar. The only difference in the sound is whether your voice is part of the sound. Try making the sounds of these letters. Z, s. What is different? Z is voiced. I feel my voice working, but s is unvoiced. My voice is off. What is the same though? My mouth is in the same shape. My teeth here, my tongue is behind my teeth. S and air is pushing out of my mouth. Z -z -z. So the mouth is the same, just the voice is different. Try these other voiced and unvoiced sounds. D, t, b, p, g, k, v, f. Here's a funny thing about English though. Some letters make more than one sound. Listen to the sound of the S at the ends of these singular verbs. Cut, cuts, draw, draws. Dance, dances. Ooh, the sound of the S is different, yes? Cut, s, draw, z, dance, is. Wow, sometimes the S sounds like S, sometimes the S sounds like Z, sometimes the S sounds like two sounds, I, Z. Why? It all depends on the sound before the S the sound at the end of the verb. Some verbs end with unvoiced sounds. P, k, t, f. Because my voice is off when I end these verbs, my voice stays off when I make the sound for S. S, unvoiced. Stops, walks, cuts, photographs, Remember, we are talking about the sound, not the letters. The sound at the end of photograph is the F sound. So, photographs, unvoiced. On the other hand, many, many verbs end with voiced sounds. B, G, D, V, L, M, N, R, V, and all the vowels, A, E, I, O, U. Because my voice is on, when I end these verbs, my voice stays on for the singular S sound. And what happens when my voice is on for an S? Z. Yes, it makes a Z sound. Draws, colors, adds, leaves. The S at the end of singular verbs with a voiced ending sounds like Z. Here's the fun part. Some verbs already end with the S sound, like dance. Again, it's not about the spelling, C-E, it's about the sound, dance. Can I add another S to the end of that word, dance? How will I know if there's one S or two S sounds? Can I say it with a shudda over the S sound? 
<laughs> no, in English, making a sound longer does not carry meaning like this in Arabic. So how can I add an S when my word already ends with an S? I can add a vowel in between the two S sounds. Dances. Because the vowel I is voiced, the ending S now is also voiced. Z dances. But remember, the sounds of language are also about the shape of your mouth. Look at my mouth when I say these sounds. S, z, ch, sh, j. What do you see? My mouth is almost the same shape for these five sounds. So guess what? When a base verb ends with any of these five sounds, the singular pronunciation follows the same rule as for dance. Add I-Z, is sounds. Buzzes, washes, watches, judges. To review, some base verbs end with s, z, sh, ch, or j sounds. Remember, not the letters, the sounds. When these verbs get an S for the present singular, it sounds like is. Some base verbs end in the other four unvoiced sounds. P, k, t, f. When these get an S, it sounds like s, unvoiced. All the other base verbs for singular S get a Z because all the other sounds are voiced.